Welcome, what is up? Thank you for tuning back into the cast. Of course, I am Chris Cass here with your cast predictions, or cast predicts, if you will. UFC on fuel number seven, live and in living color, only on fuel TV tomorrow night from London, England, the Wembley Arena. Oh, it's going to be great. Uh, a title fight for the first time on fuel TV. Very, very nice. Oh, and we love free fights, don't we? We all love free fights. I love free fights. So uh, let's get into it. Six predictions I'm going to make uh, for the six bouts on the main card. Uh, make sure you check out some of the prelim fights on Facebook if you get a chance because these fights are going to be amazing. Uh, but on to the main card. Uh, the first bout, the welterweight bout between Che Mills and Matthew Riddle. I'm going to take... Che Mills in this bout, in this bout, uh, light heavyweight bout, James Tahuna versus Ryan Zimno. I'm gonna take James Tahuna. Sorry, Ryan, debut, but not gonna be James. Uh, welterweight bout, Gunnar Nelson versus uh, George Santiago. I'm gonna take Gunnar Nelson in his debut. Uh, light heavyweight bout, uh, Jim Manuwa versus Sorel Diabate. I'm gonna take Sorel in this one. Uh, featherweight bout, uh, co-main event. Cub Swanson versus Dustin the Diamond Poirier, and I'm going to take Dustin Poirier in this one. Uh, main event for the interim bantamweight, bantam, excuse me, bantamweight uh, championship of the world, the champion, interim champion, and then Burrell versus Michael Mayday McDonald. Uh, I love this bout, and I'll tell you why. Because this bout, uh, for me, picking a title fight. Very seldom comes down to the last second, and this fight it did. I just fit. I just made the prediction like five minutes ago, uh, because for me, title fights are usually pretty one-sided. To me, I can see them pretty one-sided. That's why I have, uh, you know, you go back and look uh, in established title fights last year. Uh, if you take out crowning the new flyweight champion. I was perfect. I was absolutely perfect. Uh, but it, it's it's one of those things where I've, I've always been able to do that. This time, I'm not as 100% confident uh, on this because, and I'll tell you why I'm going with Henan Burrell, because I think he's a more all-around fighter, but this is the first time where I'm worried that the knockout power of Michael McDonald could negate uh, Henan Burrell. Uh, it's been said, it's been talked about, they're both phenomenal stand-up guys. I think Burrell's a little better but on stand-up, but he doesn't have the power, the knockout power that Michael McDonald has. Uh, with that being said, if the fight goes to the mat, which I assume that it will at some point, you got to give the advantage to Henan Burrell. He's like a spider monkey. He's just so fucking amazing. And once he gets on you, he's not going to let up. He's not going to let go. So that's my prediction. Hennon Brow retains the interim bantamweight, uh, bantamweight title and will face Dominic Cruz later on this year uh, as per Dana White. At least that's what he wants. Anyway, uh, those are my predictions. Uh, I am not going to be live tweeting tomorrow during the show uh, because, you know, it's in the middle of the day. Uh, unfortunately, it's a big Saturday, and I have to work. So, I will see it on delay. I will let you guys know on Twitter. Follow me at the Answer Chaos. Uh, how I think uh, the card went. So, until then, you guys be good, deuces as always, and chaos.